Hello and welcome to the Family Day Trippers. I'm George Reed, I'll be your host today and today we're at Chesington World of Adventures. We're hoping to have a really good day. We do apologise for the lack of content recently. It's been a bit quiet but then that is work and other commitments on. But we are back, we are ready to go. We're excited for our day here at Chesington. Of course, going to experience the new area and um, of Jumanji and also experience the new coaster, Mandrel Mayhem, the first coaster here at Chesington to have an inversion. Be interesting to see where it ranks on our list of the coasters we've ridden. But I will see you in the park when we get on our first ride or before then, some other shots. Right, we have just ridden Dragon's Fury. It was an absolutely brilliant ride. We have never ever spun so much before. Even on the block sections, we were spinning so fast, just going round and round. I'm on the second lift still. I came off that ride um, and I honestly, my vision was blurry when we hit the brake run, but overall really fast and really good. And next, I am so excited, but we are off to Mandrel Mayhem. We've done our virtual queue booking. It's very easy, just go onto the app and press on the virtual queue booking and you can get it all sorted that way. But it's a very easy to use, even for people who aren't good at technology. Just click on the virtual bookings and it'll, you'll get a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. And you just go through and we are booked in very soon. So I'll see you after Mandrel Mayhem. So we've just had a quick walk through the world of Jumanji. We are now in the Mandrel Mayhem queue. And so far I am very impressed. It's a very well-themed area. There's lots of foliage, vegetation and things like that around. I don't know much about Jumanji, so I don't know whether it's Jumanji relevant or not. So I'm sure someone will be able to tell me. What? Whether it's sort of like Jumanji relevant, I don't know like Very much. I don't know, okay, well there we go, Shane knows. Um, but yeah, just remember if you are coming to do Mandrel's Mayhem, get your QR code, get on the Chesington app and get your reserve and ride sorted out or you will not be allowed into the queue line because they must see an active QR code to let you in from the reserve and ride. So we've just been on Mandrel Mayhem for the first time. And what were your thoughts, Shane? Well, like I just said to you, I'm not a big fan of going backwards anyway. And that goes backwards. It was alright, I mean, I'm not in a rush to go back on it. No. Pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, for a b and it was rather rattly. Very rattly. And also, I did think it could be a faster as well. A lot faster, I think. For, what, for the inversion of the elements that are on there, there'll be a bit more air time as well if it went a little bit faster. So overall, I don't feel that we're coming very high on our ranking here at the Family Day Trippers. But I will see you on the next ride or after some other shots. So we've just been on Tiger Rock Log Flume. It was very good. I think it was a really good log flume. Makes up for our terrible, well, not terrible, but not brilliant ride on Mandrel Mayhem. It was not good though. It was not. It was indifferent. Is be the word you're looking for. Um, um, but yeah, we had a really good ride on Tiger Rock. We, uh, we didn't get that wet, which is quite nice. It's not the warmest of days, but then, um, you know, there's this little spring we got wet off the water cannon, which is quite funny. But I think we'll have to croc drop next. I'll see you there. Right then, how's it going? All right. So we've just been on uh, croc drop 2021 drop tower here at Chesington. It was very, very good. Um, nice forceful drop. Only thing is, I did do my restraint a little bit tight, so I didn't get the full air time of the drop. But other than that, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. And I think we're going for lunch next. I'll give you a free review. And I believe I'm having a jacket potato. So I'll see you then. So, a bit of a disaster on the fruit front. There's no jacket spuds. Well, there is, but they're going to take an hour to cook, apparently. Even though we were told 30 minutes. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. But I believe we're off to do blue barnacle now. just been on the blue barnacle the swinging ship here at Chesington it was a very good ride nice and intense to work towards the middle so we didn't get the maximum swing these they always do make me feel a little bit funny those swinging ships but I do like them so I continue to go on them but so don't know what that's all about I just like them even if they do make me feel funny anyway next we're going to try and finish this jacket escapade this jacket potato escapade for once and for all and try and get one so we've just had our food in the end they ran out of um, jacket spuds I think someone here might have had one. Not for us, it didn't. No, not for Blinky Show. We had to have a hot dog. Although I must say, if you do go to the hot potatoes and hot dog place here at Adventure Point, do get the chilli on top of your hot dog or jacket potato. It is lovely, not too hot, but really, really flavours them without being too spicy. So really good. Next, I don't know where we're off to, but I'll see you there after some off road footage. Right, we are on Zoo Farbury. We are ready to go and we'll see what animals we get to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 
show you should be close to seeing some giraffes. Giraffes! Wow! Or, to use a scientific name, Camelopardalus. They got their name because they look like a cross between a camel and a leopard. Put the two together and you get Camelopardalus. Leaves. They also sleep for no more than five. Right, so we've just been on the zoo farm. I hope you enjoyed some on-road shots there. Really good ride. Um, we saw lots of animals. The only thing that let it down was there was no rhinos. Although we reckon they may have been taken away though. After there has been an incident recently where some rhinos were fighting and got rather close to the tour bus. So we reckon they may have taken them away after this incident. We are not sure though. And the other thing is in the cave, there may have been some very good lighting and sound effects, but there's no water. Where's the waterfalls? There's all the lighting, all the sound effects were there. We stopped and everything, yeah, it was pitch black. Back on the yeah. Rapid, yeah. I know, well to be fair, they, they haven't been on for ages to be fair at Chessington. Not sure where we're gonna head next, but it may be um, Rattlesnake. I don't know where we're gonna go, but I'll see you there. Right, we've just been on Tomb Blaster. It was really good, actually. Um, I beat Shane, but my dad beat us all at 69,005. But I beat Shane 31,000 to 28,000. But that's, that was really good. But overall, it was actually really good. Most of the targets are working. Um, well, I yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think you lost Shane at all. Um, fair and square. Um, but yeah, it was really good in there. And there was even a new magma effect in there as well. I'm not sure where we're going to head next, but I'll let you know. We've just been on Rattlesnake. It was a really good ride, nice and intense. As you can see, Shane's is getting some off road footage, but really nice and intense, really good, nice corners, and no sharp brakes, which is always good because that ride sometimes the brakes can be a little bit sharp. But uh, really good, nice and intense, good airtime as well. I'm not sure where we're going next, but I'll see you there. Right, we're allowed to film one ride on this one, so we are off on the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. I will see you. I will see I will see you on the other side. Enjoy the shots and I will give my opinions afterwards. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh, mamma mia. Oh, that one just got it. Oh. <laughs> there you go, everybody. The Gruffalo River Ride Adventure thoughts and opinions in a minute. It was very, very good, nice and relaxing. That last drop, we didn't really get wet, but that the last set of sprinkles, I don't know whether it came up in the GoPro because we panicked. One of them was blocked, so it was shooting right at us. That's why a bit wet than we expected to be off of that one. If anything, probably wetter than um, Tiger Rock, which is quite ironic. Um, uh, I'm only joking. But I'm not sure where we're heading next, but I'm sure we'll see some off-road shots. So we've just been on Vampire. And wow, it was advertised 90 minutes. We waited 10. Wow, that what a result. That's really put us ahead nicely. And we've done everything we need to do now. So it means we can take a leisurely walk back, maybe get a couple of more shots of man from there if it's running. Because that hasn't been running most of the afternoon. I'm glad we got that done early today. Um, but yeah, overall, really good ride, nice and intense. And, and really not that rough either. Really, honestly, for Vampire, it was exceptionally smooth, wasn't it, Shane? Very good. Thanks. Yeah. We have had a brilliant today, day today here at Britain's Wildest Adventure, Chesington World of Adventures Resort. Uh, really good, it was brilliant to try out Mandrill Mayhem. As much as it may have been a tad disappointing, it was still good to experience it, as you must experience these things to give an honest opinion. But overall, not great, not bad, you know, not great, not bad. It is what it is. Um, no rush to do it again, obviously we'll do it next time we're here. Um, in terms of other rides, I was amazed at how smooth Vampire was today. Um, Dragon's Fury, we've never spun so much on Dragon's Fury. Um, as I'm sure Shane would agree. Um, but yeah, overall, really good day. Really enjoyed ourselves. It's good to be back in a UK theme park after so long. The final thing for me to say today is thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up as it helps the content be spread to a wider audience. If you are enjoying all of our content, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell so you know when the latest Family Dreamers video comes out. And if you have a comment, want to make a suggestion or have a question, please post it down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I've been George Willie, your host. Shane O'Toole behind the camera. Bye.